It's 1995 and you're living in an office space with your brother. You had just dropped out of college and you're trying to ramp up this business. This business where you're up by day and working on the coding by night. You're living off a of jack in the box and you're trying to make an impact and help revolutionize the internet and push it forward because that's the best opportunity you see in the moment. And it's the most important thing right now that you see as something to revolutionize. News papers are going to eat you up eventually. They will use that coding, that infrastructure behind their websites even today. But today you're struggling. Today you get laughed off by the yellow pages and they throw their book down and they say, do you really think you can beat this? Or something along those lines. But then you just keep on working day and night, struggling, and you're releasing your inner monster and all your energy towards realizing something before anyone else does. And eventually, you get sold the Compaq in 1999 for about $20 million as a payout to you. And then you immediately go up to form X.com, which eventually becomes PayPal. And then you revolutionize the financial industry. And then you sell that and you make $200 million off of that. And then you think, what is the worst return of investment that I can possibly make but benefits humanity as a whole and raises that conversation? So you have no experience in rockets, but you start this company called SpaceX, and then you start a company called Tesla. Well, you don't start it. You become one of the first investors, and you're still listed as a co-founder. But anyways, you are here to make sure that even if you go out of business, you get something from it. And people think you're crazy but you keep on working at it and you sleep on the factory floor and you make sure that people know that you're working as hard as they are. You become the chief engineer along with being the CEO of this great company and you don't know if you're going to make it or not because it's 2008 and you're about ready to go bankrupt with both companies so you split and you get just enough investment in the both companies on the very last hour of the very last day and you just barely make it and now today you are one of the largest companies in the world with both of them one ranking at a hundred billion dollars and is one of the largest private companies and then one ranking at over 800 billion dollars and is about to realize their dreams with both reusable rockets and EVs and energy and AI and autonomy. So where am I going with this? How does this apply to me? Well, I'm glad you asked. So you need to have that kind of energy if you want any chance of major success. Even if you just want a little success, maybe this can help apply to you in your background and you can be like huh well if that guy can work 100 hours a week maybe i can work 60. maybe if i just keep on working i can build up and get more hours than the competition and if you don't know how to fight if you don't know how to help defend yourself then perhaps maybe i'll take up martial arts and learn exactly how to fight how to literally beat that competition Learning jiu-jitsu might be a good idea for you as an individual because if you don't have enough confidence, this will help raise it. And if you have overconfidence, it will help lower you down to be more humble. So along with training and learning how to work hard, if you have a lot of time, that is a problem because you may not know how to use it most efficiently. If you don't have much time, then you need to learn how to do that efficiently. Everything ties in to releasing 
your inner monster, your inner self, and to beat out that competition. And most of all, beat out yourself. Become the best version of you that you can be. Because if you're 80 years old and you're looking back on this, are you going to be happy if you didn't reach your full potential? If you didn't release your inner monster and just do everything within your power to achieve your dreams and help not just you, but the lives of as many people as you have the potential to impact, will you be happy about that? That's a question you gotta ask yourself. And I hope that this helps you think and provide some sort of value to you. If you like this video, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and maybe one day you could impact the lives of many, even if it is just a small impact, because it reverberates and it goes and it goes and it builds up. And we all just kind of make this chain of contribution to society and that propels us forward as a species and makes future generations look back upon